Let's talk about the conformations of butane. As another reminder, conformations is just talking about the different shapes that a molecule can take. We're not talking about constitutional isomers, just a molecule rotating freely around its single bonds. We're going to be looking in this video at the conformations of butane, which is a four carbon alkane with the condensed structure CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. So if you've been following along with the videos, um, we did conformations for ethane and we did conformations for propane. Now we're ready for the conformations of butane and this one is going to be quite a bit trickier than the two or three carbon molecules that we've already looked at. We're going to start by building a model. I'm going to walk you through the process of building a model. So get your model kit handy. And what I want you to do is put the four carbons of butane together in a shape. I don't like the way I drew that. Put the four carbons together in this particular shape. So it's kind of like a U shape so that all four of these carbon atoms are in the same plane. They're all flat. Like you can, you can connect all four of these carbons with bonds, and I want you to be able to lay this flat down on your table so that all four of the carbon atoms are laying flat on the table. So you, see, you might have to kind of twist and manipulate these bonds a little bit in order to get all four of these carbons flat. They all need to be flat. And I want you to shape it in this sort of a shape like that. So we'll all be doing the same thing. So once you get all of your carbons flattened out like that, pick the molecule back up, but be really careful to not rotate any of these bonds so that you can maintain the, the shape that you worked so hard to create. Pick the molecule up and I want you to add the hydrogens to the two carbons inside the molecule. When you do this, each of these carbons will have one hydrogen on a wedge or pointing up at you and one hydrogen on a dash or sticking, sticking back at the table. And you won't be able to lay the molecule flat on the table anymore, but you'll probably be able to stand it up on its hydrogens like that. So once you have those two hydrogen atoms added, then I want you to go ahead and add the three hydrogens to each one of the end carbons. And these hydrogens, you can add them any way you want. You don't have to worry about how they are pointing. So it's not going to make a difference. Just cram them on there. And because it doesn't matter how they get added, I'm not going to draw any of them using wedge or dash. We're just going to draw three hydrogens on there. So here is the model, um, the, the conformation of butane that we're going to start with. And what I want you to do next is cite uh, down the carbon two carbon three bond. So in the in the conformations of ethane or propane, I talked about how when we're drawing a Newman projection, you can only focus on two carbons at a time in a molecule. The Newman projection is, is designed so that you have one carbon in the front and one carbon in the back. And so to draw a Newman projection correctly, you can only focus on two carbons. We could focus on these two carbons, or we could focus on these two carbons, or we could focus on these two carbons, but we could only focus on two at a time and they have to be directly connected to each other. For this particular topic, we're going to cite down the carbon two, carbon three bond. So we're gonna focus on these carbons right here. So what I want you to do is take your model and turn it the way that I've illustrated in the other videos. I want you to turn it so that this carbon right here is on top. You're looking directly down at it and this carbon right here is behind. And if that concept is confusing to you, then I, what I need you to do is go back to like the propane video and, and watch that because that'll explain that turning the molecule thing. So I want you to cite down this particular bond and we are going to draw the Newman projection that we see when we cite down that bond. So first of all, the front carbon is this guy right here, including the stuff that's attached to it. So here is our front carbon, and if we look at this front carbon, we see that we have sticking straight up, and you should be able to see this in the model that you have built. We have a carbon 
sticking straight up with three hydrogens on it. And then we have, again, we're focusing on this. This is our front carbon and the things attached to it. This has two hydrogens on it, one pointing down to the left and one pointing down to the right. And so that's our front carbon. Now we're going to draw our back carbon. In the Newman projection, the back carbon is right here. And the back carbon and all of the stuff attached to it this has a methyl group that's sticking straight up. I mean, you're probably wondering, how are we going to squeeze that methyl group into this drawing? Let's, let's not tackle it yet. So let's, um, let's hold off on drawing the methyl group. Let's instead, let's add these two hydrogens. We have two hydrogens that are sticking down one to the left and one to the right. And in the last few videos, we've talked about how to, how to draw those hydrogens or substituents that are hidden behind other substituents in these molecules. So now let's, let's take a look at this guy right here. How are we going to draw this behind this? It's not gonna be easy. It'll probably be easier if I erase the bonds and condense the CH3 group. So if I condense it, then I can squeeze another one in behind it. Um, and here is our Newman projection for this particular conformation. Let's talk a little bit using some of the, of the terminology that we've used in the last video. So first of all, we're going to talk about the dihedral angle. Remember, the dihedral angle is going to be the angle between um, something on the front carbon and something on the back carbon. For butane, when we're talking about the dihedral angle, we are always going to be referring to the dihedral angle between the two methyl groups on the front and back carbon. So um, even though it's this, you know, it's kind of the same no matter what, if we focus on this dihedral angle or this one or this one, the dihedral angle is always going to be zero. But in general for butane, as we look at some of the other conformations, we are always going to be looking at the methyl to methyl dihedral angle zero degrees. And if you remember from the other videos, we gave a name to this particular conformation. We call this the eclipsed conformation because the substituents on the front carbon are directly in front of or eclipsing the substituents on the back carbon. And also in the other videos, we talked about how this is a high energy conformation meaning that it is an unstable conformation. And the explanation that we gave for that was because the atoms in these eclipsed groups are too close together. We call that steric hindrance or just steric. So it's unstable due to the close proximity of these substituents. And this is especially obvious to you with a model, depending on the brand of your model kit, you might actually be having hydrogen atoms bumping into, physically bumping into hydrogen atoms. So this is the eclipsed conformation of butane, the high energy conformation of butane.